Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to automatically generate ROS control controller C++ code from Simulink model. We will deploy the controller to a simulated Frank Amiga robot arm to trace a 3D shape. Before generating the code, we will simulate the model to verify the controller behavior. Define the 3D shape to trace and view the result. The robot arm will trace the six segments as shown here in this 3D curve. Load the panda robot rigid body tree and view the placement of the 3D shape in the robot's task space. Using inverse kinematics, convert the task space values to joint space. Open the simulation model. This is the shape tracing controller model that you will modify to generate ROS control controller. Next, simulate the model to get the end effector position and join position data. You can view the points in space with respect to 3D shape. As seen in this figure, the points closely follow the six segments of the curve. Using simulation data for end effector position and joint positions, you can view the robot's motion in 3D space. This verifies the controller behavior. Let us go over the simulation environment setup in Ubuntu Virtual Machine. The virtual machine has all the required software for simulation. Start ROS core that will relay discovery and topic information between other ROS nodes and other ROS applications. In a new terminal window, browse to the ROS workspace where the Franca ROS project is built. This workspace will be used later to deploy the controller generated from Simulink. Note the ROS workspace, IP address, username, and password values. These will be used uh, later on for code generation. Now you are ready to generate code. Connect MATLAB to ROS master running on the virtual machine. Let us examine the controller model from which you will generate code. We modified the 3D shape tracing model to, that you saw before during simulation. This will be a generic cross control controller that can be used for other robots for welding and painting, etc. There are three parts to this controller. The uh, sense part receives the joint space data and joint status. Compute part calculates final trajectory and joint positions. And command part sends the position commands to the robot arm. Open the ROS control settings app to assign the robot hardware resources. Set the joint names in the joint resource name column and select interface from the resource type column. In this controller, we use joint position, so the resource type is set to position joint interface for all the ports. Apply similar settings to the output ports. From the parameters tab, select the block parameters to tune. These will become dynamic reconfigure parameters of the controller. Your hold parameter will hold the robot arm at its current position. And the multiplier will determine the speed of tracing by changing the interval for trajectory generation. Enable the ROS control plugin and save the settings. The remote device settings for code generation save the IP address, username, password, and Catkin workspace folder values from Ubuntu Virtual Machine in Simulink. These values will be used to automatically deploy the controller to the virtual machine. Build and load the controller to Catkin workspace on the virtual machine. While the build is going on, you can observe uh, the progress in the diagnostic viewer in Simulink. You can also see the code generation and compilation progress here. After code generation, you can inspect the ROS control package sources automatically downloaded to the CatKit workspace on the virtual machine. For example, here you see the auto-generated controller C++ file. You need to add the Simulink controller configuration to the Franca Gazebo package. Edit the config file from the Franca Gazebo package. Add the Simulink controller description to the Franca Gazebo configuration and save the file. 
in the terminal build the catkin workspace to apply the configuration changes once the build is done start the simulated frank emika robot environment start the rq controller manager and rq reconfigure applications The RQ controller manager application lists all the available controllers and allows loading, starting, and stopping the controller from the list. Load and start SL shape tracer controller generated from Simulink. RQ tree configure application provides user interface for tuning the dynamic reconfigure parameter. Select the SL shape tracer controller, and you should see two parameters: hold value and multiplier value. The hold value parameter is holding the robot arm. In its current position, release the hold so the robot arm can follow the trajectory published from Simul. Now the control is running. Let us publish joint space data from MATLAB. Search for the topic in the list, create publisher, and send the joint path segment data to the controller. As soon as the controller receives the data, you see the robot arm starts tracing the shape. While the controller is running, you can change the multiplier value to increase the shape tracing speed. You could also send a different joint path, segment data, or a different shape altogether. This concludes this short video on how to generate real-time ROS control controllers from Simulink. Thank you.